today's video we'll be working on this AC and the issue we're having is the compressor will not turn on. You want to check your wiring. Uh, I checked my wiring. I have a new capacitor here. The capacitor is not the issue. I checked my voltage coming in from my disconnect. I have 240 volts here at the bottom. That the issue is that the compressor is just fairly old so it's just going to need a little help starting up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hard start on this compressor and that should uh, allow the system to generate enough energy to start up. I put my gauges in. So when I look at my gauges, I do see that we have refrigerant in the system. You can see here that my gauges have retarded. Once my compressor turns on, the gauges should uh, balance out or equalize. So right now it's been sitting in the same position. It hasn't moved. So one way to figure that out is like right now, I'll take out my, hot, my low side. You can see my low side dropped and now I'm going to put it back in and my gauges should retard. So this tells me that I do have refrigerant in the system, just my compressor is not turning on. Pull the disconnect. Here we have our hard start. Many different types of hard starts that you can purchase. I like these specifically because I already have a limited space here inside of the condensing unit where my panel is and this is just the right size, small enough for me to slide it in there and to put the panel uh, back over without any issues. This is a hard start right here and you can see here it says uh, solid state relay and hard start capacitor increases compressor starting torque by 300%. See here on the packaging. So if you have just a capacitor that has two terminals, you should be able to just put it right onto those two terminals as you see here in the instructions. We have what's called a dual capacitor. So you have your common, you have your erm, and then you have your fan. If you don't remember anything at this point, just always remember you're never to attach your hard start to your fan. So here, the one that says fan, you will never attach your hard start to the fan lead coming off of your capacitor. See here, I connected where it says C, I connected that to the common right there. And then the other one goes on the arm terminal. And like I said, this capacitor is just strong enough to give me enough juice to start up this compressor that's starting to age, as well as small enough that I can keep it in the compartment without having to move anything around. Here at the top of the capacitor, you can see the indicator mark right there by C. So obviously we know that this lead is going to go on common. This one's going to go on erm. Now I'm going to put my disconnect back in and then we'll watch the gauges to see if my compressor turns on. And you can see here the compressor turned on right away. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.